Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unpacking to do today and this bag has got a box in it. So I think we could have a lovely project. Yay. Okay. Uh, these have been sent to me by the wonderful people at diamondartgift.com. I've been showing their products for quite a long time now. And yeah, they've all been absolutely wonderful. So yay. Can't wait to see what we got this time. But before I get into that one, let me just quickly show you uh, from last time's unboxing, I have completed a couple of the projects. So yay, these were absolutely gorgeous. I didn't get this one done in time to put him out on my Valentine's display, uh, but I am thinking about doing him for our hubby's birthday because hubby's birthday is coming up. So possibly, because he does like drinking tea and we both love owls. So yeah. <laughs> That was just warming his little feathers, his little body into in a little cup of tea. Yeah, we're both big tea drinkers and we both love owls. I have got my uh, gem code colours on here as well. So I can kit this one down and put the gems in gem code order. Uh, it was only eight different colours, but there was plenty left over. And yeah, the price of this one was only £3.99 as well. So it's just so cute. So I thought you'd like to see them. I will do a full completion review and uh, I've got a kit down to do because I've got quite a lot of specials to put away as well. But uh, yeah, he's just so sweet. Such a happy, smiley little chap, isn't he? He deserves to go on the wall. Actually, it could be a little girl, couldn't it, with a rose in her hair? And all the little butterflies, but yeah, um, I think he's just sort of like misjudged landing on the edge of the teacup and gone plop into the bottom. <laughs> and then Dumbo's done. Look, uh, he will need sealing. Um, yeah, it's uh, all crystals, but uh, yeah, he does need some sealer putting on him. And he's, uh, if you remember from the unboxing, here's the hanging basket one. She says, looking in the little uh, bag for the bits, and I've already taken them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh do i ever plan anything <laughs> so yeah it's got a little uh, basket now somebody did suggest why not put a pot plant in it um it's not waterproof on the inside but you could put um a, a sort of like a, a silk plant or something like that in it and it, it would actually look really really effective and uh, have a little bit of uh, plant hanging down from it lots of special drills left over and all of these little bags that the gems came in because it was pre-bagged wow i love it when they come pre-kitted up for you uh do have the gem codes on them so i will be able to do a full kitting down on this one as well there seems to be more and more coming through with the gem codes on either that or i'm just noticing them all a lot more i'm not quite sure which so we will be putting the little hanger through oops it'll have to go that way through uh, Dumbo there and then the little bag just hangs from the bottom oops okay and then the little chain which is a, a really nice chain oh look it's got taffled that's me not uh, putting it back in the bag properly look and then yeah that will just fasten on there so you can hang up it's a nice long chain as well uh, hmm, just trying to think where I'm going to put him. He will definitely be going up somewhere. I do like the idea of putting a plant in it, albeit I do think I might have to put um, a toy or something in it. Anyway, so again, I will do a full kitting down on those, but I'd just like to show you that I've uh, completed those from the last unboxing. So uh, there is a special offer on at diamondartgift.com at the moment. If you buy four items, you'll get one free. Yay! And we are like free and there is 70% off shipping as well. So obviously check out the special off. Make sure that they are still on when you're ordering. Obviously, if you're watching this in a couple of months time, there may be different offers. So just double check and see what applies to uh, where you're having it delivered to. But let's get into this and have a look at these. So we have a lovely box. Oh, look, it's trying to get out. It's trying to get out. It's trying to escape. Look, we can just see something just poking out the box there. But uh, yeah, the box has done its job and kept it safe. And then we have a project. Wow. So this is a special drill fest, I think. Uh, what shall we look at first? Let's look at the little one first. And we'll leave the one that's trying to escape out of the box look just a little bit longer. Just stay in there a little bit longer and we'll be with you soon. <laughs> Right, let me get my tape measure out quickly. Uh, I've 
take me out before I started filming so I don't have to go rummaging for it. Go me. I might get organised. Possibly not, but we can try, can't we? <laughs> it is exceptionally dark and miserable and we've had like sleet in the rain today as well. Um, yeah, what is it they say? It's the 1st of March today. You might be watching this um, a little bit later. But yeah, 1st of March. What is it they say? Uh, in like a lion and out like a lamb for March. So fingers crossed because, uh, yeah, the wind is definitely like a lion's roar today. Very, very strong and cold. Hopefully by the end of March, it'll nice be nice and like spring and fluffy like a little lamb. Anyway, we can hope, can't we? <laughs> Oh, yes, I remember this one. Right, so let me just get into the pack and we'll have a look. Okay, where's the end? Come on. Where is it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> right, so uh, the price of this one was $4.99, which works out round about, about £4-ish mark. So we have this lovely little, now they called it a dolphin, but I do believe it's a whale. And it's a very smiley whale. Let's see if we can get him closer up. Look, we've got a lovely little smiley mouth there. He's got his little water spout coming out the top. And I just thought he was a very, very happy smiley little whale. So yeah, double sided. Uh, this will go in my bathroom because I've got my turtle in my bathroom. Um, I am waiting to see if we're going to get a wet room or whatever before I get everything put in there. But I've got a nice little um, arrangement, shall we say, a nice little pile of bits and pieces that I'm uh, getting ready to put into the bathroom. So we have a pen, boat and wax, your little toolkit there. Oh dear, it's one of these. <laughs> it's a do-it-yourself kit. Right, okay. And then we are all crystals. Oh, lots of colours in there. All right. So let's just tip these out and have a look and make sure I'm not going to uh, make sure I'm not going to lose any. So I'll grab a tray to put them in. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I thought it was different. Then I thought the gem was in the lobster claw clasp. So. We've got your key ring uh, little chain there and your little lobster claw clasps because they don't look like a lobster claw. Ang, 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 ang. <laughs> so once he's done, I will have to seal him um, because, it, oh, oh no, gosh, for one awful minute there, I thought um, I was going to have to hang him upside down. There's some holes at the bottom, but they're for the uh, hangers. I've got one there, one there, one there, but we have got a hole at the top there. <laughs> Oh no, oh dear. Do you know, I was all prepared with my tape measure and everything and then, uh, yeah, it just goes to Liz. <laughs> uh, and then once that's done, you just pop that through there and you've got like your little hanger or your key ring or whatever you want to do with him. He is more of like a little sun catcher um, hanger and uh, yeah, he's double sided as well. So that's really good. They call them for like for window decor. So they are quite pretty. Actually, it would look quite nice if I hang him just above like the window ledge and he'll maybe just swing in the breeze a little bit as well. Yay, do you want to swing in the breeze, little one? Yes, I think so. It's very, very pretty colours. Look at that. He's like um, sort of a patchworky style, isn't he? With all those different colours. Yay. Okay. So, yeah, these are those um, little things now that they are giving us to do it ourselves the did used to come all pre-done which i did like but now we get to do a little bit of jewelry making ourselves look so we've got one two i mean you don't have to do these you don't have to use these um and they are exceptionally fiddly and for my eyes they are very very fiddly I'll maybe try having a go at one on that camera one day. Whether I'm brave enough at the moment, I don't know. And then the big gem will hang from that one. And the two smaller gems, these are lovely. Look, they've got an iridescent coating on, so you get all that shine. So it's going to look pretty hung in the window. Uh, and then you have to make up like these um, little charms. So hang on, blue, 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 red. Red. And I suppose it gives you a bit more freedom. You can put them however you want your colours. Uh, oh, we've got a spare one there. Okay. 
uh, I wonder if you put maybe a longer one on that one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we've got three colours. That one's not in it at all. So you could put maybe the extra colour on that one um, because that's the longer one. And I don't know whether I'll use these or not, the extra two. I'll have to see. You've then got all your little spacer beads. So in between each of these beads, you will put one of the little spacer beads. Okay. And you've got all your exceptionally, I'm not even going to uh, pick those up, teeny tiny uh, little jump rings look. They have opened them for us, which does make it a little bit easier. Um, so that all you need to do is clamp it together uh, with a jump ring, with a, a ring like these. You should never pull them apart that way. You should always pull them apart sideways. Let me see if I can find one that's uh, showing a little bit better. Some of these have just closed up a little bit. So, yeah, show it. Look, it's opened up side to side rather than pulling it out that way because if you pull them out then what you tend to find is when you try to put them back together it's very difficult to then get a perfect circle again um they tend to go sort of oval shaped and all sorts of funny shapes but if you pull them side to side like that then they do actually then just clamp back together a little bit easier so yeah you've so you've got to hang all of these <laughs> on the little hangers and put the little spacer beads in as well and then you've got your bigger ones as well so yeah that's going to be quite fun to do i might i've got a couple to do actually of these so i might do one off camera and then i might do one on camera because yeah i'm not quite sure how my eyes are going to hold up with doing this the only thing i do find strange though with these um, is that they do like silver little chains and silver jump rings for the bottom but the top of the gold i think i'd prefer it either all gold or all silver uh, actually i may have a silver one that i can uh, use to hang it up with at the top yeah. that's not a very long chain is it to be hanging it like a keychain suppose it depends where I put it, I'm, but I have got lots of spare little bits and pieces and chains now anyway. So unless they don't hang from chains, I'll have to see. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of doing that. It is for me. I mean, if you like your jewellery making or you're good at uh, doing small things or you've got a lot younger eyes than I've got, let me put the big ones in first, um, then you'll probably be able to do this. But as I say, at the moment... Yeah, this will be quite a challenge for me, but I will do it. I will give it a go. So it's a long time since I've done any jewellery making. Um, it more tends to be just using uh, the little jump rings when I'm doing diamond painting. <laughs> so we'll put all our little bits back in our bag. Let's give him a quick measure. Oh, oh, oh no, there's a bead there. There's a bead there. Come on. There's always one. And if you don't know who it is, then it's probably you. <laughs> Let me just uh, get this pen and see if I can just get this little bead to come out of this little uh, spout here. There it is. There it is. It doesn't help with its clear look as well. That's going to be fun. Okay. I have got some of the sun catcher hangers that have already got the beads on. Yeah, this is one of the bees. Look, I did this quite a while ago. Um, and that's one of the chains that they've got there. And as you can see, you have to loop it. Although that's just on the chain, isn't it? That's not got any little jump rings on it. So they've put that. Actually, no, that's wire. That's wire or... Um, thread that that's on so that might be easier to do and then just use jump rings either side but then these did come with um your oh i've just put the... <laughs> they're just some little bees that i got look some little bee decorations that i picked up from somewhere but they did come with a chain to hang them with so i may just put them on a thread actually rather than trying to thread them all together yeah that's going to be better i uh, say so anyway at least i've got a reference to be able to do that and uh, yeah that's got the bigger sort of this the rectangular like jump ring 
to go through as well because that's quite chunky but the others are a little bit smaller so anyway at least i've got something to work from when i have a play right so what was i doing oh yeah putting the beads away <laughs> finding the one that was trying to escape well it got itself trapped anyway and then i was going to measure this because i did get my tape measure out <laughs> Oh, little smiley whale. Sure, he is uh, about nine centimetres, three and a half inches by about eight, eight centimetres, three and a quarter ish inches. So, yeah, a little cute project there. Right, let's have a look at his gems. Oh, he's got a lot of colours. Oh, we've got little teeny tiny marquees look in red. I tend to put those down the same as I do same as I do with the little teeny tiny teardrops as well. Okay. Right, so how many have we got? Goodness. Oh, I've just spotted a hot paint. Heck! Wow! Goodness me! Okay, so we are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 9. Different gems and colours on this little tiny project. Goodness, wow! Heck, oh, he's gonna look lovely, he'll be very sparkly. There's no gem codes, unfortunately, so he will just be a generic cutting down. So, we're starting off with the red to match the little red marquees there. That's your lovely cherry red, which I suspect is 666. And then we've got a hot pink. Oh, yes. And then a lovely a grassy green. And a pale blue. And a little bit darker blue. And an aqua blue. And a very dark deep blue. And a nice little uh, amber colour there. And then we're on to ooh, a purple. And a dark purple. And a little bit lighter purple. Gosh, and then like a peachy colour and a gold colour and then the special shapes. We've got the dark blue marquees. We've got the fire red marquees with the iridescent coating on. Sorry, it's ever so glary today. Oh, and then we've got some teeny tiny marquees in the green and some little bit bigger marquees in gold and then some rounds in black yep they've got facets on so goodness mate i reckon that they are the eyes so yeah that's why that's the eyes so we only need four and we've got a huge pack yay spares spares of specials yay i'm gonna need a bigger box <laughs> all right just pop these away in there as well will he fit in with it all he might do yes he will yes he can go in the pack with the gems okay yay so that's our first uh, little project there and now let's see what's trying to escape out of the box <laughs> okay goodness me he's saying let me out let me out what are you what are you oh it's a wooden one okay so we've had a little acrylic wheel and now we've got a wooden one. Pen, boat and wax. Little toolkit there. Okay. And da -da, look at that. Is that not just such the cutest little owls you've ever seen? Look, he's like popped out and said, oh, hello. What are you doing there? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's similar to like a Fabergé egg, isn't it? All decorated. Uh, yeah, if it was a real Fabergé egg, it'd be worth thousands, thousands and thousands. But no, it's our way of having a little Fabergé style egg um, with a little owl popping out of it. Oh, and I just thought it was so cute. And it's just the way he's got his little head tilted on one side. He's sat in a basket look inside. And the egg's just opened and he's gone, ooh. Hello. Uh, Millie tilts her head like that. Millie's our little Scotty dog, our little Scottish terrier. And yeah, when you talk to her, she tilts her head on one side as though she's listening to you. Well, I say it as though she's listening to you. She listens to you sometimes. In fact, she probably hears you most of the time. It's just whether she chooses to ignore it or not. <laughs> but I just thought this was so pretty. You can actually you can imagine music playing, can't you, and him starting to spin round. <laughs> Oh, and then at the bottom, look in the decoration, we've got a love heart there. 
and we've just got like mummy and baby or daddy and baby sat there is that not just the look of love and that's all oh, looking back up absolutely gorgeous i just fell in love with this when i saw it yeah we've got all little stars and all decorations as well um there's not that many gems on this one it will be quite a quick project to do but it's going to be very very effective oh i just love it and i love owls you know i love owls well i love everything oh goodness do i say ever say i don't like something sometimes <laughs> so it's a nice wooden one um it's the three layers of wood all sandwiched together so you've got a nice strong little base there to put everything on we've got our little oval base in just the wood color um you can always cover these in gems if you wish um or color them in with a paint or an alcohol marker or something like that if you're not keen on just the uh, light color but actually with this being light I think it will probably just all blend in. Let me see if I can get it in the little slot. Yeah, so it just slots in there. Sometimes you get a little bit of resistance because it's still got the plastic cover on. So we're partial uh, and it is only sticky where the numbers are. And I think we're all numbers. Yeah, it's all numbers. This one looks like it could be up to seven different numbers. This one because his little tummy's got little number sevens on. But I just thought, oh, those eyes are absolutely gorgeous. But it's just the head tilt that got me. And then these two down at the bottom. So you're getting a double lot of cuteness on this one. There is no gems on that one. I mean, it is an exceptionally small picture. So, you know, something that small to start putting gems on with all that detail, you're going to lose a lot of detail. You would need something really, really big uh, to do that justice. But he's going to look really cute up there. So let's have a look at your gems, little owl. Let me take your base off so you can lie a little bit flatter. But yeah, he was trying to escape out of the packet, wasn't he? He'd obviously been in there a, a while and decided, right, I want to get out of that box. Just let me out, let me out. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, we're actually eight different gems and colours. Ooh. Okay. So we're starting off with the specials at the beginning. Special shapes. So we've got these sort of medium -y sized pearls with an iridescent coating on. So that's pretty. So it's all going to be pearls. Oh, and little silver stars. And then, oh, look, that's going to be on Owl's tummy. He's got like little amber coloured marquees. And then in the standard crystals, we've got a pearl of gold, a little bit of bronze, a little bit of like a greeny lemon colour. Then we've got our standard uh, marquees with an iridescent coating on and then we finish off with our standard silver lovely and clear i love it when they come clear and there's no dust in the bag so number eight right oh so number eight is going to be all the inside of the egg at the top so that's going to be all nice and sparkly uh, oh, actually, the owl isn't going to be the amber-coloured ones. It's going to be the uh, crystals with the iridescent coating on. So it's going to be very sparkly. Okay. Uh, number six is the edging. And so where's number three? So number three then. Oh, right, I see. Is the base of like the um, little egg there and the base of the stand that it stood on. I think we can see where the stars go because they're all the star shapes and then we have all the little pearls so the actual like egg and the base are all little pearls and stars oh wow and they're all going to be lining all down here as well and all around this gorgeous little heart in the middle oh that'll be really pretty oh so the yeah, this one will uh, Oh, Millie's just decided to join me and flopped into her bed. She's obviously uh, not liking the weather. Are you having a snooze now in your bed? Are you not talking? Are you snoozing? No. Snoozy girl. <laughs> yeah, she didn't get a very long walk this morning because it's raining. She absolutely loves swimming in dirty puddles. But when it starts raining, she comes home because she doesn't like the rain. <laughs> Completely mad pup, what can I say? 
Okay, so let me just pop these away. Okay, so just two little special drill projects this time. Uh, hopefully, you never know, I might get these uh, uh, the next time I get something from diamondartgift.com. <laughs> okay, well, a huge thank you, diamondartgift.com, for sending me these. Do go and check out the website and have a look at those special offers. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, see these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.